This is my eighth year here at Fern Creek. Um, I was here in 1999 to 2000, and then I left for a little while and came back. So I've been here a total of eight years. We have a multi-level program for truancy at Fern Creek. Um, every Wednesday our truancy officer comes and she meets predominantly with our freshmen and sophomore students who are starting to get into the truancy system. Uh, currently we have truancy at uh, every three occurrences. So our Youth Service Center will meet with our students first and then if they get to nine or twelve absences then they actually meet with the truancy officer. Uh, one of the things that we started here as a pilot last year was a tri truancy diversion program and with that program we're targeting our 17 year olds and, and some 16 year olds um, to try to reduce their truancy occurrences so the number of days that they're out of school because we find that when they're out of school that it affects them academically. Last year was a pilot program for us so we chose 12 students and um, a part of what we need to do is if we can't keep them in school, we look for alternatives for them. We look at possibly them getting to Jefferson County. Uh, some of our students will get a GED. Some of our students will look at Bluegrass Challenge. So there's a lot of different ways that we can measure success. The ultimate goal is that they have a high school diploma or a GED. Uh, of the 12 kids we had last year, two went on to Jefferson County High School. So we, we say that that's a success. Um, we've retained six in the program again for this year and so far their attendance is looking significantly better and their grades and they're on track to promote with their class. So I think we're, we're being successful with the program. The referral system is a way to monitor a student's attendance based on infinite campus and the attendance that the teachers make. When a student is absent for three days, whether it's consecutive or three different days, that gets referred to the attendance referral system. At that time, there's a phone call made to the parent's home. When the student is absent for six days, they get a calendar card or a letter. When they are absent nine days, a student is referred to the truancy court officer. At that time, they are make a home visit or the truancy officer actually speaks to the student. In the state of Kentucky, uh, at six days, a student is considered a habitual truant. As of July 1st this year, the truancy law will change. Um, in the state of Kentucky now, you have to, you are obligated by law to attend school until the age of 18. This setting at school, being uh, six and a half hours, may not always be a good option for students, and we have other options available. There's Jefferson County High School, which is uh, a school that you can go four hours in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. You have to commit to 16 hours a week. There's Bluegrass Challenge, where you can live on campus and that. There's Job Corps, which you can actually go and learn a trade. There's Liberty High School, which is a catch-up school. There's eSchool, which is online classes. Sometimes uh, the school setting's not best. Our obligation is to provide the best education we can to the students. I think that's our obligation. This may not always be the setting for that, but you want the best for a student. You want the best for a kid. I think high school is the stepping stone to the next generation. The way colleges have come about, I think college is your high school education anymore. Um, education has changed. The uh, job market has changed. And all we want is for everybody to be successful. And whatever that takes for a student to do, we want to be a small piece in that puzzle.